Air Force tests new bomb that could replace controversial cluster munitions. The Air Force recently tested a new next-generation fragmentation bomb on the F-16 Fighting Falcon meant to be an alternative to cluster munitions that diminishes the risk of unexploded ordnance. According to a news release, through a series of flights held in July, the 28th and 422nd Test and Evaluation Squadrons measured battle damage from the Blue 136 Next Generation Area Attack Weapon at the Nevada Test and Training Range, according to Air Combat Command. The operational tests were designed to gather data to determine the operational performance of the Blue 136, specifically in the areas of blast and fragmentation damage. Lt. Col. Daniel Lambert 28th TES Global Strike Division Chief said in the release. This data will help decision makers determine if the Blue 136 is a viable substitute for the Air Force's fleet of cluster bombs. The 2,000 pound bomb is intended for light vehicles, light structures, and personnel, the release said. When paired with a Joint Direct Attack Munition JDAM, GPS Guided Tail Kit, the Blue 136 becomes the GBEU-31 V-11 bomb. And because it's compatible with a JDAM kit, it will be ready for operations if and when fielded, Lambert said. This also means that the delivery of the GBU-31 V-11 from any other aircraft will likely require little to no changes in loading or delivery tactics, he added. During the test, personnel drew several rings, 75, 150 and 225 feet in radius around the intended target, explained 1st Lieutenant Savannah Bray, spokeswoman for the 53rd Wing at Glenn Air Force Base, Florida. After the test, they found fragments exceeding 225 feet from the center of the target, she told Military.com on Wednesday. Within 150 feet, severe damage is likely to occur, she said. But the fragments themselves are non-explosive, making it a less hazardous alternative to cluster munitions, the release said. The Pentagon for decades has used cluster bombs which when broken apart disperse smaller bomblets or sub-munitions through their target. Cluster bombs are not without controversy. The New York Times in 2017 reported that the weapon's dud rate often approaches 20% when deployed in combat situations, meaning they frequently fail to detonate when they're supposed to and thus can make the environment extremely dangerous to friendly forces and civilians. That same year, the Pentagon reversed its plan to ban cluster munitions and kept its stockpiles, citing threats from North Korea as the reason to keep the munitions. Then Deputy Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan said that developing a replacement for cluster bombs would take too long when faced with a North Korean threat. So the Pentagon looked to its available capability. The Pentagon was tasked by President George W. Bush's administration to bring cluster bombs failure rate under 1% or find an alternative. However, the Defense Department said the U.S. military's efforts to develop more reliable, and thus safer, cluster munitions that have a failure rate of 1% or less were unsuccessful. The Associated Press reported at the time. Nonetheless, Shanahan signed a directive that December to end a 2008 policy approved by former Defense Secretary Robert Gates, which had stipulated the Pentagon would no longer use cluster munitions which, after arming, resulted in more than 1% unexploded ordnance by the end of 2018. You're probably familiar with the fact that we've been working on a technology to eliminate the danger of cluster munitions, Shanahan said. But the timing of that technology to eliminate the danger and the need to backfill the shortfall in munitions did not line up. 